Tourism in Spain is a major contributor to national economic life, contributing to about 11.8% of Spain's GDP. The country has been a popular destination for summer holidays, especially with large numbers of tourists from the United Kingdom, Ireland, Turkey, France, Germany, Italy, the Benelux, and the United States, among others. Accordingly, Spain's foreign tourist industry has grown into the second biggest in the world. Spain was the second most visited country in the world, recording 83.7 million tourists, which marked the seventh consecutive year of record-beating numbers. Due to the coronavirus pandemic in the first 11 months of year 2020, only 18.3 million tourists visited Spain. You can find the soul of Spain in tourist experiences, which represent the country's rich history, fascinating culture, and enchanting natural beauty. From the bustling street life of La Rambla in Barcelona and Plaza Mayor in Madrid to the forest of columns and Moorish arches disappearing into the silent expanse of Cordoba's Great Mosque, Spain exudes a vibrant energy and a captivating blend of past and present. Plan your trip and find interesting things to do with our video of the top attractions in Spain. Number 1. The Alhambra and General Life Gardens No matter how much you have read or how many pictures you have seen of Granada's Alhambra palaces, this Moorish pleasure palace will still take your breath away. The Nasr dynasty's royal palace is the artistic highlight of Spain's Islamic period, when Al-Andalus, as they called Andalusia, represented the epitome of culture and civilization in medieval Europe. The Alhambra complex includes several buildings, towers, walls, gardens, and a mosque, but it's the indescribably intricate stone carvings, the delicate filigrees, and magnificent tile-lined ceilings, the graceful arches, and serene courtyards of the Nasrid Palace that will haunt your dreams. That said, the adjoining palace built for the Emperor Charles V, even in its unfinished state, is the finest example of high Renaissance architecture in Spain and generalized terrace gardens offer a peaceful respite from the grandeur and splendid views back at the rest of the Alhambra. Travelers should set aside at least a half day to visit the Alhambra palaces and several days to explore the tourist attractions of Granada. Number 2. Sagrada Familia Foremost is the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia, officially the Temple Expiatory de la Sagrada Familia, or the Holy Family Church of the Atonement. One of Europe's most unconventional churches, it is also unfinished, so as you look down from its tower, you can see the work in progress below. You may search in vain for absolute straight lines in Gaudi's Casa Mila, his last and most famous secular work. It resembles a piece of sculpture more than a functional building. Be sure to ascend to its roof. The chimneys are said to have inspired the image of Darth Vader from Star Wars. New in 2022, the fantastic Casa Batlev, an iconic gaudy building with mass-shaped balconies and an undulating facade, presents Magic Night's outdoor concerts on the building's rooftop terrace. Gaudi's monuments appeal even to children and to adults who don't care a thing about architecture, for one simple reason. They are just plain fun to look at. Number 3. Great Mosque of Cordoba once the principal mosque of Western Islam and still known as La Mesquita, Cordoba's Great Mosque is one of the largest in the world and the finest achievement of Moorish architecture in Spain. In spite of later alterations that carved out its center to build a Catholic cathedral at its heart, the Great Mosque ranks with the Alhambra in Granada as one of the two most splendid examples of Islamic art and architecture in Western Europe. Building materials from Roman and Visigothic buildings were used in the construction, which began in 785 and by 1000, it had grown to its present dimensions, its prayer hall with no fewer than 19 aisles. No matter where you stand or which direction you look, its rows of columns and rounded Moorish arches line up in symmetrical patterns. Other top tourist attractions of Cordoba include the flower bedecked patios in the Juderia near the Great Mosque, the Palacio Niviana, a 15th century aristocratic palace, and the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, the former caliphal palace that Catholic King Fernando III took over in the 13th century. Narrow, winding streets, small squares, and low whitewashed houses fill the Juderia, lending a Moorish atmosphere inherited from its past. Number 4. The Prado and Paseo del Arts One of the top tourist attractions in Madrid, the Prado alone ranks with the world's top art museums for the riches of its collections. But add the Reina Sofia National Art Museum, the Thyssen Bornemisza National Museum, and the Kexa Forum, all along Madrid's mile long tree shaded boulevard, and you have what may be the world's highest concentration of priceless art treasures. It's no wonder this is known as El Paseo del Art, Boulevard of the Arts. After a 2007 expansion that doubled its exhibition space, the Prado added another 12 galleries in 2009 to house a collection of works by Goya and other late 19th century artists. The Prado has the world's largest collection of Spanish art, an impressive continuum from 12th-century medieval works through the avant-garde movement of the early 20th century, 
and is especially noted for its works from Spain's Golden Age by El Greco, Velázquez, and Goya. Number 5. San Lorenzo de El Escorial San Lorenzo de El Escorial, about 45 kilometers northwest of Madrid, was the summer home of Spain's kings, and in 1563, work was begun here on a huge complex, which would include a monastery, church, royal palace, mausoleum, library, and museum, all conceived as a monument to Philip II and his reign. The result is a staggering collection of attractions built around 16 courtyards, its rooms and structures connected by 16 kilometers of corridors. At its core is the church, the highlight of which is Herrera's 30-meter-high retablo, made of jasper and red marble, and approached by a flight of 17 steps. Along with the vaulted and frescoed ceilings by Tibaldi in the rooms off the lower cloister, highlights of the monastery are the Pension de los Reyes and the library, a grand room also adorned with Tibaldi frescoes. In the palace, be sure to see the Bourbon Suite, where the state apartments of Charles IV are decorated with rare furnishings and 338 tapestries. Beyond are the art-filled private apartments of Philip II. The picture gallery below has a large collection of fine paintings, including works by Hieronymus Bosch, Albrecht Dürer, Titian, Tintoretto, Veronese, Velázquez, and El Greco. Number 6. Seville Cathedral. La Giralda Tower, the Cathedral de Sevilla, and the Alcazar combined to form a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These three exceptional historic landmarks are the top tourist attractions of Seville. Considered a masterpiece of Almohad architecture, La Giralda, the emblem of Seville, began life as a minaret and is all that's left of the city's great mosque, destroyed to build the cathedral. The Cathedral of Seville has more interior space than St. Peter's in Rome and a 37-meter main altar, a car of statues completely covered in gold. The monumental tomb to Christopher Columbus is held aloft by a quartet of larger-than-life figures. The Alcazar opposite the cathedral was begun by the Moors in 712 and redesigned after the Christian reconquest by Pedro I in ornate Mudejar style. The rooms and salons are breathtaking with fanciful embellishments such as intricate tiled walls and patterned ceilings. Shaded by fragrant orange and lemon trees, the dreamy Alcazar gardens were pictured in the Game of Thrones series. Fans of the show may recognize the fountains from the Kingdom of Dorne's water gardens. Number 7. Guggenheim Museum You really have to see this building to believe it. No photograph has ever done justice to this symphony of shapes, so alive that they seem ready to take wing. American architect Frank Gehry used blocks of limestone and undulating sheets of titanium to turn the notion of modern architecture on its ear. So thoroughly did he succeed that two new terms were born from it, the Bilbao effect, the ability of a city to turn its fortunes around by constructing a single world-class building, and architourism, a whole segment of the travel industry revolving around landmarks of contemporary architecture. Inside the 24,000 square meter galleries of the museum are temporary exhibitions and rotating displays of its own collections of modern art. Highlights include works by Anselm Kiefer, Willem de Kooting, Mark Rothko, and Andy Warhol. Besides the Guggenheim Museum, Bilbao has other interesting cultural attractions, the Museo de Bellas Arts de Bilbao, the Casco Viejo, and the gourmet dining scene. Bilbao is renowned for its Michelin-starred gastronomic restaurants, including Nerua in the Guggenheim Museum, Olda Martin Barasategui, which serves contemporary Spanish cuisine based on fresh market ingredients, and Atelier Exenob, which offers creative haute cuisine. Number 8. Santiago de Compostela Cathedral the magnificent Cathedral of Santiago in Santiago de Compostela was built to house and honor the relics of the saint, and it has been the ultimate destination of pilgrims since the Middle Ages. Today, the historic town of Santiago de Compostela still draws modern-day pilgrims and also is a top travel destination in the Galicia region of northern Spain. One of the outstanding monuments of early Romanesque architecture, the cathedral was built between 1060 and 1211, and despite the Baroque transformation of the exterior in the 16th to 18th centuries, the interior is still in the purest early Romanesque style. You'll see both of these periods at play as you enter the West Front through one of Spain's most impressive church facades. Step inside to face the Portico de la Gloria, part of the old West Front now concealed by the 18th century facade. This triple doorway is one of the largest and most magnificent collections of Romanesque sculpture in the world. The focal point of the interior is the elaborately decorated Capilla Mayor built over the Apostle's tomb. In the center of the high altar of jasper, alabaster, and silver is a 13th century wooden figure of the Apostle, richly adorned in precious metals and gems. On either side, narrow staircases lead up behind the figure so that pilgrims can kiss the Apostle's cloak, culminating their pilgrimage. In a crypt under the altar, the Apostle's remains are in a silver casket. Number 9. 
Plaza Mayor The throb and heartbeat of Spain's vibrant capital city, Plaza Mayor has played an important part in Madrid's everyday life since the 16th century, when Philip II entrusted the task of designing it to his favorite architect Juan de Herrera, builder of San Lorenzo de El Escorio. Today, one of the top cultural attractions of Madrid, the Plaza Mayor has for centuries served as the stage for ceremonial events, the proclamation of a new king, the canonization of saints, the burning of heretics, and public entertainment such as chivalric tournaments and bullfights. The cafe spilling out onto the plaza's pedestrian-only stone pavement and the restaurants shaded under its arcades are Madrid's living room, popular meeting places for Madrilenos and tourists alike. As the center of Madrid's social life, the area around the Plaza Mayor is one of the best places to stay in Madrid. If you'd like to find accommodations near the Plaza Mayor, the four-star Catalonia Las Cortes is a short walk away and appeals to families because of its spacious guest rooms and to art lovers because it's located near the Prado Museum. Number 10. Plaza de Espana Built for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929 to celebrate the various regions of Spain, the Plaza de Espana is an impressive semicircular pavilion surrounded by colonnades. Beautiful panels of colorful decorative tiles representing each of Spain's provinces are set overlooking the long pool, which is crossed by bridges. It's a popular place to visit for a stroll or to row a rental boat around the pool and under the bridges. The Plaza de Espana is the focal point of the vast Parque de Maria Luisa, a half mile of gardens, lawns, and shaded walks stretching alongside the river opposite Central Seville. You can rent a pedal car or ride, though, in a horse-drawn carriage. Busy any day on Sundays, the park overflows with families. The best way to see the giant trees, flower beds, pools, gazebos, and the man-made rock mountain with a waterfall is to stroll through the park, following the side paths into hedge-surrounded gardens. At the far end of the park, you'll find a small but rich archaeology museum with Visigoth jeweled crosses and ancient gold work. Number 11. Beaches of Gran Canaria the largest of the Canary Islands, Gran Canaria is best known for the golden sand beaches that line most of its southern coast. Playa de las Canteras is in the capital city of Las Palmas, popular with families for its calm waters, protected by a natural breakwater of volcanic rock. The largest beach and the liveliest is the Playa del Inglés at Mas Palomas, which abounds with cafes, restaurants, shops, play parks, and other amusements. At one end is one of the archipelago's natural wonders, a vast protected area of gigantic sand dunes. These reach as high as 12 meters and are constantly shifting as they are shaped by the wind and the sea. To complete the desert illusion, you can ride through this desolate and otherworldly landscape on a camel. The water is relatively warm on this coast and so clear that it's popular with divers. There's an underwater park at Arenaga and diving school at Playa del Ingles and several other places along the coast, where you can see the fish and other sea life from a cruise on a glass-bottomed boat. The south coast is also popular for windsurfing and sailing. Number 12, White Towns of Andalusia. Poised like dabs of white frosting atop the steep crags of southern Andalusia, the White Towns are not just beautiful, they speak of this region's long and fascinating history. West of Gibraltar, mountains rise straight from the sea, and among them hide these hilltop whitewashed towns. Most spectacular is Arcos de la Frontera, whose plaza beside the Gothic church ends vertiginously in a 137-meter cliff, affording views across a valley of olive, orange, and almond orchards. Its maze of winding cobbled streets lead past cafes and craft shops selling ceramics and pottery to a Moorish castle. A total of 19 of these villages of small white houses are in the area around the Grazalema Nature Reserve. Grazalema and Zahara de la Sierra are two others worth seeing. A good base in the region is Jerez de la Frontera, home of flamenco and Andalusian thoroughbreds. Watch these horses' precision ballet at the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art and for authentic flamenco, Visit Centro Cultural Flamenco.